harbor in the border area. On the right side, five years ago still, there were several uh, cargo stations and storage hall. All that was removed. This area is already prepared for new investments. New roads, new lanterns, trees were planted, and all this area was purchased by the U.S. Investment and Ships Group. Uh, 180 millions they have paid to build this uh, event hall with a capacity of up to 17,000 uh, people. It was completed one year ago. It's one of the main uh, event halls of Berlin. Sports events, but also concerts or whatever. And uh, the Auto World Hall. Um, but now let's come back to the wall. It is a sort of rounding. First, it prevents you from holding there. You can't hold tight, you would, you would slip. And second, this pipe holds the individual elements of the wall. The wall is uh, consisting of three feet broad. really renowned the building and the painting here on the left the open wall the open wall we shall be now passing through areas which are perhaps not so interesting area which was heavily damaged by the bombs or the stations of Berlin. On the left side the buildings were West Berlin and there was also the wall. And this park was border strip. You can see on the left side the wooden building, the small one with the garden. This is an illegal building built in the border strip by West Berlin uh, citizens and uh, by a Turkish couple. And uh, it was very strange because the wall was uh, not always built exactly where the real border was. On the right side you can see the ruins of St. Michael's. Catholic Church. Just the walls are there, but not the building. And this is East Berlin on the right, West Berlin on the left. Of course, at that time only on the West Berlin side, now on both sides. There are many cafes, bakeries, and souvenirs. the green dome of the Catholic Cathedral of the city, the St. Hedwig's Cathedral. Frederick the Great has initiated all these buildings after 1740, especially the State Opera House, which is now going soon to be under reconstruction, is very old and military camps, no uniforms, no marching. The beautiful pink building on the left side, it is the old arsenal, and 
it is the most beautiful Baroque building of the city, dating back to 1713. Of the Museum Island, altogether five large buildings. We shall be passing over the island now and see on the right side the empty space of the former royal palace. On the left side, the garden of promenades with the Berlin Cathedral and the so-called Old Museum. On the right side, there is the illustration. And of course, ahead of us, further on the left, the, new, the old National Gallery, the Museum Island is a result of one year, 100 years of construction activities. It was between 1830 and 1930 that uh, the Museum Island came into being. The first museum was completed here on the left side, 1830, by Carl Friedrich Schinkel, and very soon the king has declared all the island to the home of it's arts and muses. And so, within the further set of decades, step by step, all these museums ahead of us here, which was only reopened after more than 60 years of ruined existence last November. The museum housing the Egyptian collection with the bust of Nefertiti. The museum, which is the largest one of the island, with a Pergamon altar and further architect architectural monuments of the antique. On the northern tip of the museum island, the museum, which is here, so to say, is the crown of the museum. The street, especially renowned for many theaters in this area. It is a small, uh, small roadway of Berlin. In this area, you would find 12 theaters. And most of the buildings which are here are buildings which were rebuilt in recent years. On the and now they are extending and on the right side already the glass dome of the Reichstag building of the historical building of the German parliament you can see the people moving far away the chancellor's office looking like a washing machine <laughs> uh, it is by the way about five times as large as White House in Washington but Mrs. Merkel is also a little stronger than Mr. <laughs> Obama uh, this area has still many empty rooms because before the war there was the victory goddess on the top of the victory column in the park. station.